So I broke his guard. Doesn't matter how, again how you do it. Right? If I want to go through the middle, if I want to do a standing pass, I try to pass. Right? I throw by. It was beautiful, but he caught me in half guard. Right? So many passes get ruined by somebody catching your leg. All right, so we're gonna deal with this, okay? So, as the guy on top, I want him on his back. He's got my leg, that's fine, not a big deal, right? When, anytime you're on top, you wanna make sure you've got the underhook, his back is flat, his face is turned away from you. Make sense? So I'm gonna swim that underhook, swim the underhook under his head, turning his face away, getting my gable grip. There's two distinct ways to pass the half guard. One is by smushing him until he just wants to give up and let you go. The other one is by being fancy and dancing around him. I'm not that athletic, but we'll work through both of them. First one, sorry, John, is gonna be smushing him into the ground, okay? Especially for MMA, very useful. My goal, again, is to pin his shoulders to the ground so that his hips can't move. Right? So I'm gonna cross face him with my arm, not across here, right? I'm not on top. This sucks as the guy in the bottom, but it's not that great a control, right? He does that, or he just moves my arm like an adult instead of being a child, right? Right? Because now I've got gravity on my side, and I'm the one demonstrating, so I can do this as long as I want, right? He doesn't get a turn when I'm the one demonstrating. When you're trading turns, then you both get to do it. So instead, I'm gonna go under his head. I'm gonna use my shoulder to turn his face. Right, I'm not just driving down into him. That sucks, but he can still bridge towards me. If his face is looking away from me, all right, when John tries to bridge towards me, no. there's not gonna be a lot of force yeah. to it. His body is gonna follow his face, right? So I've got my underhook under his head, my far arm underhooks his far shoulder, and I gable grip my hands here, right? Now I'm gonna use my legs to turn his body away from his face, right? So I'm just gonna walk on my hips away from his face. He's looking that way, my hips are turning him this way, right? Regardless of how old his back is and how much it's up. I'm gonna take that outside foot, put it on top of his knee, right? Or on his calf, wherever it might be. And I'm gonna post down on my foot as my butt comes up, slide my knee free, and hit my knee slide, right? Call it a crowbar, pretty simple, right? Again, I pin him to the ground, right? Pin him to the ground, lock my hip so that his knee is pointing the way his face should be. Use my outside foot to get inside that calf. Post up, slide free, and good. Questions? Sorry, buddy. That's okay. One, two, three.